I have a big problem. I'm too pretty. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh no, poor thing. She's good to look at. Probably gets all the guys. What a big problem to have. Yes, well, you might think that this is a blessing, but to me, it's a curse. And I'd like you to know how it led to becoming a total recluse. So, this all started when I was a baby. People would walk up to my mom in the street and coo over how cute I was. You have the most beautiful baby girl, they'd say. I never seen any toddler as cute as her. It's amazing. But before we move on, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and activate the notification bell. This will let you live 20 amazing years longer. Trust me, it works. They all agreed that I should be doing modeling, even when I was too young to stand up. You know, for like baby clothes stores and stuff. Mom refused because she didn't really want me exposed to all that shit from such a young age. Mom got used to people just walking up to her and wanting to pinch my cheeks or stuff like that. I had really big eyes and super pale skin, as well as cute lips and a tiny little nose. She looks like a porcelain doll, old ladies usually would squeal, and some were even kind of rude about it, asking, who does she look like in your family? Yeah, people can be nasty. Mom's beautiful, but apparently not as gorgeous as I was. It's messed up on so many levels. Now, you might be thinking I'm bragging or just exaggerating this whole thing. I wish that was the case, but no, 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 no. I'm not making this up. I don't always feel like the cutest girl out there. I sometimes have bad hair days or feel my skin is too dry or something, but people tell me otherwise daily. At first, it made me feel like a queen, like I was the most stunning girl to ever walk the earth. That did me no good, and soon I decided it was ridiculous. I was just another girl, and I wanted to be treated like one. When I was about 10, Mom and I were eating out in a restaurant, and a guy randomly approached us. I'm a casting director and your daughter is perfect for a campaign I'm running. Would you come in for a photo shoot? He asked my mom. It might sound like a scam, but mom did some research and he was the real deal. He worked for this big modeling agency that focused on child talents. Mom thought about it, but in the end, she decided I was still too young for it and refused the offer. The guy insisted a few times, saying that I showed so much promise and I could make lots of money, but mom remained confident that she was making the right choice. So yeah, that was my childhood. But then puberty hit, and everything became worse. You see, believe it or not, I was kind of shy. I didn't like people constantly staring, you know? So when I started to develop and my body became curvaceous, I had a really hard time with the attention it produced. Guys began calling me things like sugar, baby, gorgeous, boo, and all those silly names. Come on, shorty, give me your number, one would say. Or sugar, I'll take you out on a really nice date. Yeah, cliches all the way. It was so annoying, and I wasn't okay with that shit. They never wanted to really talk to me. They didn't care what I liked or what I hated. They weren't interested in my hobbies. All they cared about was my looks. Do you know what the messed up part is? I'm smart, too. No one thinks that's important, and sometimes they don't even believe it's true. Like, I get good grades because teachers have the hots for me. I'm really good at maths and chemistry. I love, love, love everything to do with those subjects and want to go to college and study to become a chemical engineer. A guy once laughed at me when I told him, Girl, you should be a Playboy model or something. Don't be dumb, he said. I couldn't believe it. I felt so insulted. Most guys told me I'd get someone to marry me straight after high school and then I could live a super comfortable life. Why bother going to college? Um, because I want to become a professional woman? Because I'd love to work in that field? Because I'm more than my looks? Yeah, this is something that makes me really mad. And no one took my anger seriously. They said I looked super cute when I got frustrated. So I decided to take a different approach to it and open a YouTube channel. Not about my looks or fashion or anything, but about science. I do cool experiments and explain science terms in an easy to understand way. Do you know what happened? People didn't give two shits about my experiments. The comment section was filled with replies like, you are so hot. I want to marry you. Take off that lab coat. I can't wait till you turn 18. And the more insulting, look at that model pretending she knows science. So silly. Yeah, it was that bad. So I ended up closing the channel, super frustrated about how cruel and stupid people can be. So I started wearing baggy clothes to school, hiding my curves. I refused to use any makeup at all. 
and carried a textbook over my chest to hide my silhouette. Do you think it worked? Oh, no. People would just holler for me to show my stuff. I hated it. Felt so uncomfortable and anxious all the time. And that was just guys. Girls could be far worse. You know why? Because they think you believe you are better than they are. Because they get jealous and begin bullying you. Because when you wear makeup and nice clothes, you are a slut. And when you wear baggy clothes, you are an attention seeker. I didn't have any friends who were girls. And I hated that fact so much. I can't even explain it. Oh, and don't even get me started on the gossiping. Everyone had something to say about me. And it was never, ever true. Do you hear she slept with so-and-so? They'd go. Or a guy would gab that he made out with me. It was constantly happening. And it got me so anxious. I hated it and wanted to let everyone know it was all a lie. Plus, no one believed that I was smart. They would make dumb blonde jokes. And when I got good grades, they say it was just because I was pretty. It was as if they believed that the only good thing about me was that I was hot. My own mom, who once thought I was too young for modeling, had finally realized how much money I could make off my looks. Why bother with college, honey? You could just become a model and earn enough money to live comfortably, or perhaps even marry a wealthy man. Don't stress with studying. It's just not worth it, you know, she told me. Oh my God, that offended me so much. My own mother thought I was nothing but a pretty face. I hated this all so much and didn't know how to deal with it. So in my senior year, I kind of snapped. I figured if everyone believed I was a slut and that all I had going for me were my looks, then I'd give them what they wanted. I bought the sluttiest, most revealing clothes, used a lot of makeup, and combed my hair to look amazing. Guys at school couldn't stop staring. I flirted back even if they had girlfriends and in front of everyone. I became the bitch everyone thought I was. I didn't care what anyone thought about me any longer, you know? But things had to go too far someday. And that moment was during prom. I bought the sexiest dress I could find, and it barely covered anything. When I arrived, the guard told me I was violating the dress code, and I had to wear a hoodie he handed over to me to cover myself up. Everyone was so shocked. And then this one guy dared to come behind me and pinch my backside hard. Then another. And then another guy did the same. I tried moving away, but there were so many hands on me. I yelped and sobbed, screaming, what are you doing? Believe me, I was so shocked and hurt. I immediately rushed away. No one followed behind me. I had no friends to defend me. That was the last straw. I got to my home and locked myself in my bedroom. Mom knocked and asked, honey, what's wrong? Did something happen at prom? I told her everything and explained I would never, ever leave my room again. I haven't. I refuse to leave my house and have become a complete recluse. I am studying, but take all my classes online. I don't know if I'll ever leave this place again, but for now, I feel safe here, away from people and their horrible prejudices. Believe me when I say that being pretty isn't what everyone makes it out to be. Sure, it can be fun to get people's attention, but when you are reduced to just being that, it sucks. I'll become a chemical engineer and get a great job doing what I love, and it will have nothing to do with my looks. If I have to wear a mask to go to work and claim I'm sick or something like that, I'll do it. Or better yet, I'll get a job I can do from home and never ever leave my room. I want people to appreciate me by my brains and not by my looks. It's so stupid to me and I still can't forget what happened to me during prom night. People didn't ever contact me later to see if I was okay. It's so messed up. I can't even explain it. Mom is supporting me now, finally realizing what she told me was wrong. I'm taking great classes online at a good college, but I know it's not the same as actually going to an Ivy League university like I might have if I decided to go outside. I'll have to do with what I can get, however, because I'm nowhere ready to leave my room yet. You may say I've become a bit of an agoraphobic, and that might be true. I'm not ready to deal with that fact yet. For now, I'm focusing on my studies and have removed all mirrors from my room. I have no interest in how I look at all. To me, being pretty is a curse, not a blessing. Thanks for watching. So, what do you think? Is being beautiful as great as everyone believes it to be? Have you ever had to deal with a problem like this? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos on the channel.